Hello, Les from Thailand here. Today's video is going to be about converting your OA visa to a normal O visa. Um, there are many people in trouble now in Thailand because they enter Thailand on an OA visa, which means for renewal they need insurance. Now I'll give you one example of a, of a person that I know who had an OA visa. He went to renew it and immigration said because you've got an OA visa you need insurance. Now he's 67 years old, this gentleman, so he had to go and get insurance to be able to get his OA visa. And that cost him 8,700 baht for an insurance premium to satisfy the Thai immigration. Now that was for 400,000 baht medical cover and outpatient cover also. But the sting in the tail with this, and it is with most insurance companies, is that you have to pay the first 200,000 bahts worth of cover. So this means you have to fork out the first 200,000 baht of any claim. So it's sort of pointless, and if you don't have the 200,000 baht, then your insurance is void. You, you don't get your medical cover. Insurance is just there just to satisfy the immigration that you've, you've got insurance. The paper, it's, it's actually worthless, really. So, there are ways around it and how you can get around this system. Changing from a OA to a O visa isn't particularly difficult. It might be a little bit costly nowadays, but my suggestion would be go to an agent. If you're gonna renew your visa, go with an agent for this year and that will change you over from OA to an O visa and then from next year you never have, have to have the worry about insurance again unless the Thai government changed the mind and want everybody to have insurance but I don't think that's going to happen for the next certainly two or three years with tourist numbers declining in Thailand at present I think they want to keep the people already that they have here but also for those people uh, that wants a retirement visa but don't have the 65,000 baht per month coming into the bank account. In one of my previous videos I recommended a, a, a recycle method and again I'll just go over my recycle method because it's even easier now to do that. Now as I say my video that I do living on 50,000 baht a month I also do another video on living on 35,000 baht a month. Again if you want a retirement visa it's not what the immigration want to see. The immigration want to see 65,000 baht a month to get your retirement visa. So there are ways and means around this. One, you can use an agent uh, and that will cost you between 15 and 18 or maybe 20,000 baht per year to do that. But my recycle method costs you a lot less than that. Um, once you've got the retirement visa and you want to show that you have 65,000 baht a month coming into your account so take my 50,000 baht a month as an example now I'm on a marriage visa so I don't need to have 65,000 baht a month but my recycle method has been pro proven and there are many people who use this recycle method so use mine as an example 50,000 baht a month I can live on 50,000 baht a month but if I wanted a retirement visa I have to show 65,000 baht a month coming in so therefore my recycle method is you bring in 65,000 baht a month through your Thai bank that satisfies the Thai immigration that you're getting 65,000 baht a month send back home the 15,000 baht extra that you have and then next month you bring 65,000 baht again and then send back 15,000 baht so therefore you're always showing 65,000 baht a month and to make it even cheaper if you've got the money to do it wait three or four months and do it in one transfer now there's been difficulty beforehand with regard to sending money back to your home country but now there's a company called D-Money and they charge 125 to 150 baht fees to send money back to your home country such as England, Australia or America so 150 baht to send money back to your country. It's as cheap as chips. It used to be like 20 or 30 pounds per transaction with 
Western Union. So D-Money is the answer for sending money back to your home country. The rates for D-Money are as good as transfer wise so you're probably getting the same rate as you would do for transfer wise bringing your money from your country into Thailand as you would do sending Thai money back to your country. Yeah, it, it's a faff about to do it, but it still works out cheaper than doing it with an agent. And it's just as legal as it is with an agent, sending money back home and then recycling that money because you can live on less than 65,000 baht a month. So if you want any more information, email me below and I'll set it out in detail on how you can do it. It's easy, there's ways around all the system. So, from Les, still living the dream in Thailand, I hope this video was useful to you. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. And also, subscribe, it'd be nice, just help my channel along. So until the next video, bye for now.